what my next video could be. And I've chosen Dr. Dog by Babette Cole. Look at that. This is the Gumboil family. And this is their dog. He is a doctor. Dr. Dog went to a conference in Brazil to give a talk about bone marrow. While he was away, Grandad and the Gumboil children got ill. It's Grandad and Gumboil children. We'd better get him back, said Ma Gumboil. So they sent a tele-message to Brazil. Tele-message. We are all ill. Come home. Love Gumboils. Oh dear. And Dr. Dog came home. Well done, Sandy. Kurt Gumboil had been secretly smoking in this bicycle shed. He had a wicked cough. It's not good to smoke, said Dr. Dog. <coughs> These spongy things inside our chests are called lungs. They are breathing machines. Smoking fills them up with dirty tar. Then they don't work properly, and so we cough. So that's where all the air is supposed to go in and the air can't get through properly because it's all like smudgy woodgy. Yeah, great right, save. I know that. Jerry Gumboil had not been wearing her raincoat and hat. She caught a cold and got a sore throat. The germs attacked her tonsils. She's got tonsillitis said Dr. Dog. I will have to operate. So he took them out. Kev Gumboil was scratching his head like mad. Goodness. I don't have a chair. It's a net. You go get a chair, darling. He's got nits, said Dr. Dog. These are eggs laid by insects called lice. This one, this is one, they live in your hair. Woo, he's a cheeky nit. He plastered Kev's hair with smelly shampoo to kill the lice, and Kev had to wear it all day at school. Never swap combs and brushes with anyone, said Dr. Dog. Baby Gumboil did not wash his hands after going to the toilet and then he sucked his thumb and he let other children stick their fingers up his nose. Oh, that's a bit gross, huh? So he got a tummy ache. He's caught worms, said Dr. Dog. They are breeding in his tubes. <coughs> You really do too? Yeah. Uh oh. The worms wriggle inside you until they reach your bottom. Uh. There they lay itchy little eggs. If you scratch your bum, the eggs go under your fingernails. Uh. Sucking your thumb makes the eggs go back into your tummy where they hatch more worms again. Never scratch your bum and suck your thumb, said Dr. Dog. That's good advice, isn't it? Yes. Fiona Gumboil felt dizzy. It's all those cartwheels she's been turning, laughed her parents. Rubbish, growled Dr. Dog. She's got earache. There are tiny bones inside your ears that help us balance. Earache, earache can affect them and make us dizzy. Dr. Dog gave her some pills. Pills? Pills, tablets. 
medicine. Grandad had been eating too many baked beans mm, and drinking too much beer. Glug, 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 glug. He's got terrible wind, said Dr. Dog. Here's a picture of your inside tubes. Beer and baked beans make gases in your tummy. The only way they can escape is to blast out of your... Bottom. Bottom. Oh, dear. What's that? Is that a... Papa really hey, hurts. Papa. No, it's a, it's a puff of... It's a puff of fly. A puff of fly. It's disgusting, Dr. Dog told Ma and Pa Gumball. If you don't take better care of your family, there will be a serious accident. So what, said the Gumboils. We've got you to look after us, haven't we? Meanwhile, Grandad's dangerous gases were building up and it's going to the loo. Bang! He farted so hard, he blew the roof right off the house. Whoa. Whoa. Told you so, said Dr. Dog. Shush, darling. Shush. Nearly finished. Once the roof had been put back and he made everyone better, Dr. Dog felt ill himself. You're suffering from stress, dog, said the doctor. What you need is a holiday away from that pesky family. Just what the doctor ordered, said Dr. Dog. They'll never find me here. One, two. Oh no, Three. said Dr. Dog. See this note? It says, need holiday to recover from accident. It said something, something, joining you soon, love gumboils. And here they come. Wah! <laughs> oh dear, Dr. Dog is not gonna get much rest with the gumboils and that's the end of that